Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Life Science with Nirvita. So this is KC 2023 most important topics discussion series. This is part six, I think, and remaining part five videos I provide link in the description. Kindly check it out. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the most important topic that is ABC model of flower development in Arabidopsis thallianum. This is very very important topic. Uh, if you check the previous year question paper, you will get to know the questions regarding this particular topic okay so now without any further delay let's get started so first of all uh, what is this what is nothing but this abc model of flower development okay so here in 1991 there are two scientists are involved in this uh, you know abc model thing so that is in 1991 es seen and also em Mayor of its proposed this ABC model of uh, flower development. So why this ABC model of flower development? Why? Because so they both these two scientists they explain how floral oils develop in Arabidopsis thaliana. So anyhow in flower you can see this is anatomy of flower right. So in this flower it has four orals. So the first oral is the sepal and second oral is the petal and third oral is the stamen and fourth oral is the carpus. okay so here in this abc model of flower development they explain how uh, this four floral oral will development uh, takes place okay so how these floral orals will develop in arabidopsis thaliana so usually for this experiment they use this arabidopsis thaliana flower so usually this eudicot species eudicot means the flowering plant species are composed of four floral uh, organ types that is sepals petals stamens and also carpels so sepals we also called as that is calyx and petals means that is corolla okay so you can see this is arabidopsis uh, flower this is showing four floral organs that is sepal petal stamen and also carpel okay so here the main thing about this abc model is what so in this experiment uh, you know they used to explain how the four oral development takes place that is sepal formation petal formation stamens formation carpal formation so to, to develop all these things many genes are involved so that thing also we discussed in uh, video okay you can see before going to this uh, abc model of flower development so some floral development genes are there which are responsible for the development of the meristem as well as flo floral organs okay so now this floral development gene is there right so that is going to classify into two types so first one is what that is floral meristem identity genes so this floral meristem identity gene is there right so this will convert shoot into this will convert shoot into flower okay so floral meristem identity genes so the main function of these genes is uh, genes are what that is which will convert shoot into flower so here again this uh, floral meristem identity genes are classified into two types that is class 1 floral meristem identity genes and class 2 floral ID, uh, meristem identity genes okay so these two genes are responsible for the conversion of shoot into flower okay so in this class 1 three genes are there that is lfi leafy gene epitella 1 ap1 and cauliflower so three uh, these three genes are responsible for the conversion of shoot into flower which is coming under floral meristem identity genes so in class 2 one gene is responsible that is terminal flower that is gene name is tf okay so again this under this floral development uh, gene floral organ identity genes are there which are responsible for the identity of the floral organs that is petal sepal uh, carpel and all okay so here you can see these floral organ identity genes are classified into three types that is class 1 class 2 and also class so these floral organ identity genes are control the which will control the floral identities which will control the floral identities okay so here this is uh, this floral organ identity genes are classified into three types 
class A, class B, class C. So that's why the you know flower development model is called as the ABC model because the genes which are involved for this ABC model are there, right? So that is coming in the class A, class B, and also class C. So now on to the genes. So in the class A, two genes are there, that is AP1, epitala1, and also epitala2. And in the class B, epitala3, and also fistulator, that is PI. And in the class C, that is agomas. So these are all the genes which are responsible for the control of floral identities. Okay, so this chart is very, very important. So just focus on the genes. So which are coming under floral meristem identity genes and which are coming under, uh, you know, floral organ identity genes. Okay, so this is about the uh, floral developmental genes. So next. Is this the anatomy of flower? So I already mentioned key classes of genes are responsible for the identity of the floral organs, right? So here you can see, this is the four oral, that is flower contains four orals, right? You can see here this flower. So this, see this flower. So just imagine hibiscus flower, hibiscus or red hibiscus flower. So that red, red hibiscus contains some green color, uh, leafy like structure, right? Sorry. Okay. So some green color le uh, leafy like structures is appear in the hibiscus below this petals that is below this red color petals right so that oral is called as what that is sepal so that is the first oral of this flower you can see oral one the first oral that is sepal first oral is what that is sepal you can see in the flower also so this green color is there right that is called as a sepal and sepal is also called as calyx the green color okay so next, the second oral, that is petal, you can see the colorful, yellow color, red color, white color, petals are there, right? That is the second oral. So this petal is also called as corolla. That is the second oral, okay? So next, that is the third oral. Third oral is what? That is stamen. Represent as a ST, okay? Third oral is the stamen. You can see this is what called as a stamen, which is a, it's also called as andricium, male reproductive organ. Okay, in the implants, it is a male reproductive organ which consists of anther and also filament. Anther and also filament. That is the third oral of this flower. So next is the fourth oral. You can see in the fourth oral carpel is there. You can see here the carpel which contains the ovary. That is a female reproductive organ in the flower, which contains ovary. That is uh, coming under this fourth oral. Here, in this anatomy of the flower, mainly the ABC model of uh, flower development, four orals are there. The first oral represents the sepal. Second oral represents the petal. And third oral represents the stamen. And fourth oral represents the carpel. Okay, that is this is sepal, this is petal, this is carpel. Sorry, this is uh, stamen and this is the carpel. Carpel contains ovary. Okay, so here this four oral formation depends on the five homeotic genes. Okay, to form to form these four orals, five home, homeotic genes are responsible. So what are the uh, what are uh, those five homeotic genes? That is AP one, AP two, AP three, and also PI and also AG. So these all are the five genes which are responsible for the formation of four orals. Okay. So how these things takes place? Now we discuss one by one. This is clear, right? The four orals. It is very easy. So four orals are there. And to control that four orals, four different genes are there. So uh, about the genes, we discuss now. Okay. You can see uh, in, in here itself, genes are represents. So the sepal uh, is expressed by the gene A and petal expressed by the gene A and B, and stamen expressed by the gene B and C, and carpel expressed by the gene C. So now we discuss in detail, okay? So you can see here, so wild type. Wild type is nothing but, this is a normal type, okay? So wild type means what? That is a normal type, and also here genes also mentioned. So here in the wild type flower, that is a normal flower, which is healthy, okay? This is a normal flower. In the normal flower, 
So this number represents the orals. In the first oral, sepal is there. In the second oral, petal. In the third oral, stamen. In the fourth oral, carpet. In the wild type, flower. That is the normal healthy flower. Okay. Then the classes of genes which are responsible to formation these four orals. So when it comes to the class A genes, class A gene is alone responsible for the expression of sepal. So if class A gene is present, which will express the sepal or production of, uh, you know, sepal formation takes place. So here for the formation of petal, both class A and also class B is responsible. Okay, you can see. A is also responsible, B is also responsible. Okay. So for the petal formation, A class A and also class B genes are responsible. Okay. So now for the formation of stamen here, class B genes and also class C genes are responsible. Okay. For the formation of stamen, class B as well as class C genes are responsible. So next, the formation of carpel alone C is responsible. Okay, if C uh, gene is present, class C gene is present, that will help to formation of the carpet. So this is how genes are responsible for the formation of four different orals. We can see first oral sepal, second oral petal, third oral stamen, and fourth oral carpet. Okay, so this is how this ABC model of flowering will explain. So now you can see, I already mentioned uh, five homeotic genes are responsible for the formation of these four orals. What are those? AP1, AP2, AP3, AG, that is agamus, and, and, as well as pistillata, right? So here you can see under this, you know, class of genes, genes also uh, here mentioned. So here in the first oral, this is the first oral, sepal is there. Okay, so to the, uh, to the formation of the sepal, class A gene is represent. Okay, to express the class A gene, some genes are involved, right? So, what are the genes? That is AP1 and also AP2. So, into the, for the formation of sepal, two genes are responsible. That is AP1 as well as AP2. Okay, that is coming under class A gene. So, next that is class A. Uh, that is for the formation of petal that is the second oral so second oral is what second oral is formation of petal so for the formation of petal two genes are responsible two classes of genes are responsible that is class a as well as class b so to uh, for the function of these class a and class b three genes are responsible so what are those genes that is ap ap2 AP3 and also pistillata. So already AP2 and AP3 are coming under class A, but here class A and B both are responsible. So that's why along with this AP2 and AP3, pistillata, that is PI gene is also responsible for the formation of petal. Okay, so next is the third oral. So here third oral is what that is formation of stamen. Okay, so here stamen formation takes place that is in the third oral. So for the uh, formation of stamen, uh, two classes of genes are responsible. That is class B as well as class C. Okay. So here, uh, three genes are uh, coming under this uh, B and C. That is the formation of stamen. That is AP3, PI and also agamus. That is AG. So this AP3 and PI coming under the class B and AG coming under class C. So for the formation of stamen, Class B as well as class C uh, uh, genes are, you know, responsible. So that's why three genes are involved in the formation of stem. Okay. So the last one, what is that? That is the formation of carpel, which is coming under the fourth oral. Okay. So here, C, class C gene is alone responsible for the formation of carpel. So here, for the, for, for the formation of, uh, you know, Carpel, only one gene is responsible, that is agamus gene. AG gene is responsible for the formation of carpel. Clear? Very important about the genes. Okay. So, for the formation of sepal, AP1, AP2, uh, two genes are responsible. For the formation of petal, AP2, AP3 and uh, PI genes are responsible. And for the formation of, uh, you know, 
for stamen ap3 pi and ag genes are responsible and the formation of carpel alone ag uh, gene is responsible okay it is very easy so that is about uh, genes and also classes of the genes so now some mutations takes place uh, in this abc model of flowering like if any gene is mutated that will leads to which type of flower like that so now we discuss that so before going to that mutation thing so here class a gene and also class c genes are there right so both are mutually antagonist so what is something but antagonist so here they are they both are antagonist to each other you other is something but what if class a gene is get mutated okay for example here class a gene is mutated so in that case what happen in the a, a place class c gene will express that's why it is called as antagonist so if a is mutated c is expressed in the place of a if c is mutated a is expressed in the case of c okay that is vice versa if a is absent c is expressed in the place of a if c is absent a is expressed in the place of c that is what called called as mutually antagonist both a as well as c are both are mutually antagonist to each other so now we discuss about the mutation thing in the abc model of flowering this is very important you can see here abc model of flower development that is mutation so this is a wild type you can see let me take here. okay so this is a wild type flower wild type means what it is a normal healthy flower so in a, a first oral sepal formation takes place second oral petal formation you can see the genes also in sepal a gene in petal a plus b in the third oral stamen that is b plus c in the fourth oral carpel that is only c so now this plant is health sorry this flower is a healthy flower that's why four oral appear you know normal only there is no mutation so there are three cases are there okay three uh, genes are responsible for the mutation so when come to the case one mutation in a gene okay if any uh, if in some case in human beings also mutation takes place right some gene sometimes like inversion deletion duplication takes place in humans also similar like that in plants also sometimes mutation takes place that will leads to some abnormal leaves abnormal flowers like that that is what happen here also okay so here in the case one mutation a a gene is get mutated in that case what happen in the first oral first oral so I, i already mentioned both a and c are antagonist to each other if a is mutated uh, in the place of a c is expressed if c is mutated in the place of c a is expressed okay so here a is mutated in the place of a which gene is expressed that is c gene is expressed okay so in the first oral instead of you know a gene that is c gene is expressed so that's why instead of sepal carpel formation takes place okay so next in the second oral instead of a here also c plus b formation takes place one second c plus b formation takes place so that will leads to stamen so next in the third oral third oral again uh, normally it is b plus c right so uh, b is also not mutated c is also not mutated so that's where this is normal in structure that is c plus b or b plus c this will give rise to stamen and in the fourth oral anyhow a only mutated not c so that's why c usually it is expressed that's why here carpel formation takes place okay if a gene is mutated so there is no sepal formation if a gene mutated so there is no sepal formation takes place okay so instead of sepal in the first oral also carpel formation takes place okay so this is about mutation in a gene that is the case one so next we can see the case two here mutation in b gene so when b gene is mutated what happen if uh, now we can see so usually in the first oral a is there so a gives rise to sepal in the second oral instead of a plus b b is mutated so here only a is expressed okay so that is leads to again sepal because here b is mutated b is 
mutated. Okay. In the third oral, you can see here in the third oral, B plus C has to be takes place, right? So here B, B gene is mutated. So here only C class of gene is expressed. So here carpel formation takes place. In the fourth oral, anyhow common C is there. Again, carpel formation takes place. So if B gene is mutated, there is no stamen and also there is no there is no petal formation takes place. Okay, there is no stamen, there is no petal in the case of B gene mutation. Okay, so next come to the third case that is mutation in C gene. So you have to focus on A and C because A and C are mutually antagonist. But for B, if there is no B, there is no antagonist, just only single gene will express. Okay, so next uh, move on to the class 3 that is mutation in C gene. So anyhow, one A is there, sepal formation takes place. The second oral, A plus B normal, petal formation takes place. Okay, so next in the third oral, here C gene is get mutated. So A and, A and C are antagonists instead of C here. A formation takes place. Here also again, petal formation takes place. In the fourth oral, yes, there is uh, no C gene is there. Instead of C, A formation takes place. That will lead to formation of sepal. In the case of C gene mutation, there is no stamen and also there is no carpet. Formation takes place. Okay, so here in the case of A mutation, there is no sepal formation. In the case of B mutation, no stamen and no petal formation. In the case of C gene mutation, there is no stamen also, there is no carpal formation. So this is about, uh, you know, mutation thing in the case of ABC model of flower development. So if all homeotic genes are got mutated, if A, A class in B class in C class in everything is get mutated. So in that case, we used to call that flower is called as a pseudo flower. Yeah, pseudo flower. So if all the genes are get mutated, so that type of flower we called as a pseudo flower, just like a green leaf like structure. That's it, pseudo flower. Okay. So I'll show how the mutation uh, flower will appear. You can see here. Yeah, you can see this is a normal healthy flower, wild type. In the uh, first sepal, petal, stamen, carpel, normal. Everything is fine. So you can see in the second case. So here, A gene is get mutated. A gene is get mutated. So when A gene is get mutated, you can see. Only carpal and stamen is there. If A gene is mutated, what happens? There is no sepal formation. No sepal. That's why carpal and also only stamen is present. Okay, there is no petal also. Right, there is no sepal as well as there is no petal. So in the case of uh, B gene mutated, here B gene is get mutated. You can see here, only sepal and also carpel, there is no stamen, there is no petal. You can see here, there is no stamen here and also there is no petal. Here, uh, here you can see there is no sepal as well as there is no petal. Only stamens, you can see stamen as well as carpel. So here you can see the carpel as well as sepal. Green color is there, right? That is sepal. There is no stamen, there is no petal. Okay. So in the case of uh, C gene mutation, if C gene is get mutated, you can see sepal is there. See sepal here also, here also, because it is mutated flower. That's why uh, in between petal also sepal appearance takes place. Okay. Sepal is there, petal is there, sepal is there, but there is no stamen as well as no carpal. This is not a fertile flower. Why? Because when there is no male and female reproductive organ, how come fertilization takes place? So the, this type of flower we call as a sterile flower. Okay. So here this is what uh, some genes, some classes of genes are responsible for the uh, some kind of mutation. So if all these classes of mutation uh, class 
process of genes are get mutated that will leads to pseudo flower only some green leaf like appearance is similar like this some two leaf like like appearance takes place that's it okay so this is about uh, abc model of uh, flower development is very very important just focus on the genes as well as some mutations things and also which class of genes are responsible for which floral uh, oral like that okay so that's enough for about today's video uh, if you like this video please like the video and share maximum to your friends if any doubts related to this thing just let me know in the comment box and uh, do like this video because your like and comment will motivate me to make uh, more and more videos like this so prepare well okay all the best uh, very few days are left okay so thank you so much for watching